hey there, okay, I'm gonna show you the coolest thing I just did in Xavion. So we're sitting here in Xavion on the ground, and uh, let's say that we want to uh, plan a trip. So I go to pre-flight, where to? Let's say KCUV space KBTV. Let's say it's gonna come on up there. So of course we've got our winds and we've got our uh, tailwinds and fuel flow and time used at each altitude uh, and a percentage score for each altitude. And we can see how low the score is you know, if we're going at different altitudes. So I can say, for example, if I come up at 18,000 feet instead of 28,000, so I can do VFR, uh, my score is going to be about 75% or so. Um, in other words, that's going to take me 25% more time uh, and or fuel to get where I'm going. Anyway, uh, now we can, uh, of course, go see our trip on uh, map. We've got uh, our icing aloft. Um, we can choose our altitudes here, icing at different altitudes for the entire planet. Uh, ditto turbulence at different altitudes for the entire planet. Clouds. Uh, bases, you know, at all sorts of different clouds, bases, visibility, surface temperatures, uh, temperature dew point spread, density, altitude, uh, in case that ever becomes a factor for us, uh, surface winds, uh, winds aloft at all sorts of different altitudes. And so um, all of this stuff is absolutely standard uh, if you've been using Xavion. But here's what's cool. Check out the, we the Wi-Fi weather down at the bottom. We have these different local and Zulu times. What does that mean? Well, what it means is, let's go to, let's say, cloud, uh, low. Look, we can look into the future. You see, we've got um, clouds at different uh, times of day as we look out into the future. And this, this, uh, this occur, uh, applies to all things. Um, you can see how the icing changes with time. Turbulence changes with time. Cloud layers, cloud bases, uh, visibility. Um, and so you can see, like, for example, that right now it's not too hot out in the uh, west, but as the day goes on and the sun moves over there, that temperature is going to come up and then eventually start to come back down again. Um, and so you have all this forecast weather. Now, let's take it to the next level. Get weather. This is our trip from CUB to BTV. Notice that we are going from CUB on the left to BTV on the right. Uh, this is 11 a.m. Uh, local 15 Zulu. And you can see that most of the cards are green. We've got a, a red card there. That's uh, FVX. It's 1,500 foot overcast. And so there's just enough of a low ceiling there for that to be a red card. And then you can see the uh, visibilities, or excuse me, the winds down below. Now here's where it gets cool. Check this out. Whoop. What if I wait until 2 p.m. to go? Well, what do you know? Now the worst thing I'm going to see is a little yellow card about 20% of the way there at SCR. And that's going to be a uh, 1,800 broken. Now look at this, 28,157 foot overcast at uh, SCR. Seems a little precise, doesn't it? Well, I can always round that later. But this is taking data from the future predictions. And you can see how the wind changes as well. What if I want to go at 5 o'clock this afternoon? Well, then we got just a little bit of yellow about halfway there, HWY, um, with a 1,500-foot broken cloud there, visibility 8.7. What if I go at 8 o'clock tonight? Well, then this is what's going to happen. And so, and there we go. So that's how far we go. So what we can do here, and I've never seen any other app do this before, maybe it have not I just haven't seen it, is we can see our entire trip at a glance with uh, red cards for any airports that are problematic and the wind's aloft, and then we can go, well, what if we wait three hours? Boom, there it is. What if we wait six hours? Boom, there it is. What if we wait uh, nine hours? Boom, there it is. And uh, the National Weather Service gives forecast out for a lot more than nine hours. I just stop at nine hours. So I don't use too much memory on your iPad. But uh, this, for the first time I've ever seen, is an instant look at an entire trip showing you exactly what you need to know about the weather, color coding it for alert, and then with one swipe, letting you see what happens if you just take the trip a little later instead. I think it's awesome.